George Julian on the brown note and a review of Arthur Russell's Picture of a Bunny Rabbit and I'm very excited because this is the last of a batch of like eight or nine albums that I got in one go and and just piling on the reviews or so at least I can sort of draw a line under it same with a lot of movies as well go and see Oppenheim this afternoon 70 mil very excited um, he's an artist that came to New York in the late 70s and became associated with the sort of twin pillars of uh, music in the city of um, the underground club music scene and also the very avant-garde music scene um, sort of like John Cale um, obscure versions of classical music and, and the like uh, and sort of progressive art house music but also club disco music um, Dinosaur, the track from Dinosaur uh, is it Kiss Me? Goes on for about 12 minutes as one of them. And didn't really release much in the way of uh, studio albums. Collaborated with and produced loads and loads of people. And died quite young, uh, 40 years old in 92 from AIDS. And has subsequently been lionised as this hugely important figure in the underground club and avant-garde music scenes. And has become known pretty much through collections. And this latest one, a uh, picture of a bunny rabbit. Um, is a it's an archival release um, contained recordings that were made for World of Echo and it's got huge acclaim from critics it, I think World of Echo was his only studio album was it oh the second studio album there you go um, this is one of the cleanest examples of Emperor's New Clothes you can get in music. The acclaim for this album is, is, is frankly ludicrous. And I don't know that it should have been released. It's like going through somebody, you know, a dead author's bedroom and they've written scraps down on pieces of paper and you've released them as a book. Um, it's not a book and it's not an album. Um, there are moments on this album that are interesting but there are also moments on this album that just sound like somebody sort of lazily tapping away at a few strings on the instrument whilst sort of trying to thread together a melody for a song which may be fully written at some point in the future. Reminded me a bit of the last Grouper album, which I felt a lot the same, that it was just like sketches. So there was nothing real, really of substance there. I thought some of the tracks like the title track picture of a bunny rabbit were really interesting that one had a lot more substance it was very avant-garde very striking use of strings um and you know over its eight minute duration went off on musical journeys it sounded full but a lot of them are really faint you know i just wonder how he would feel about them being released i mean do you just release everything by somebody that you've got on tape somewhere or do you, you know, admit that they spent time in the studio developing ideas and not all of those developments themselves were worthy of release? Would they be happy themselves knowing that this music was out there? There isn't much on here that I would say was even worthy of, the sh you know, a two-minute runtime. It really is very faint for, its, for the majority of its duration. And I do feel like the acclaim here is a lot of critics looking at him being gay and dying of AIDS and underground and having the cachet that he has critically don't understand this album. And I, I have no problem greeting a hugely acclaimed artist and saying I think this isn't very good. Same as I don't mind greeting an artist I don't think is very good and saying that it's great. And I think that's something that really does stick with music critics. They're very pack driven, like film critics, which is there are set publications like Pitchfork and so on. And if they send up a flare saying something's great, all the others sort of fall in as though their taste was made for them. Uh, and, and that's the entirety of music critics. It's, you know, there's nothing worth more, even a great musician than a great critic in film or music, because they can, they can see the diamond in the rough and they can see the, the rough in the diamond. And the cliche is that. God. And I think that this is, um, you know, it's, 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 it's not worth 
bothering with. It's not a, an album of out. It's outtakes, but sometimes outtakes can, you know, have some cohesive meaning about what they say about an artist. And hearing someone just going for a few minutes uh, with some very minimalist backing, as though they're just sort of feeling their way through some melodic ideas, is not something I don't think that should have been released. And I think that music critics sort of don't really understand whether they should like it or not. Look around at everyone else saying, should we like it? And they've given it huge acclaim for no reason, because there's nothing to it at all. So I'm going to give Arthur Russell's Picture of a Bunny Rabbit a 4 out of 10. <laughs>